Hello, I'm there's the cartographer and this is the 117th video of my Fallout 76 surveil series and here we are at the Pioneer Scout Camp and we are here on the shore of Lake Grafton right down here. It doesn't really look much like a lake in this. Kind of strange really when you consider that they made Lake Somerville look like a lake when it's gone, but again, Lake Grafton doesn't look like a lake, but it is there. Anyway, alright, so apparently this place was called Camp Lewis. Uh, it was controlled by, I guess, Order 451 of the Pioneer Scouts of West Virginia. Uh, before we go up there, let's take a look over here. We got a couple of buses that belong to the Pioneer Scouts. So this is presumably how they would have gotten to the camp. And we can come up inside. These are completely empty. Uh, what you should know about the enemies, you can potentially find a Blood Eagle Raider out here along with a Blood Eagle Attack Dog. Um, they're t they've got like a little checkpoint right here. Their bodies have disappeared, but their blood decals might still be on the ground. Oh, no, their bodies are still here. Anyway, so yeah, we're here in the uh, northern part of the, well, actually central part of the Toxic Valley, I guess. <clears throat> but along with the Blood Eagles, you're going to find uh, Mire Lurks, Feral Ghouls, uh, Super Mutants potentially, Blood Bugs, Mire Lurk Hatchlings, and also Rad Rats. Uh, let's see, uh, there's also uh, a non-hostile Mr. Uh, Handy named... Uh, Scout Leader Jaggy, but we'll see him in a minute. Uh, in terms of plants, you've got toxic soot flowers like this. You've also got uh, mutated ferns, and there are also wood piles and logs that you can loot for wood. Okay, let's take a look at this place. So we are at the uh, northernmost extent of the camp. We'll head up these hills. Okay, here we go. Now, in the last video we did in the Toxic Valley, it was down there at the Grafton Dam, and in that case, they say that the Lake level dropped subsequent to the bombs, and that the uh, camp dropped as well. And you can see that the uh, a good chunk of this place is actually below the uh, water level down there. Specifically like that cabin right there. And the docks are also either are partially submerged. You can see that, that uh, little boathouse right there is submerged. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at this place from the gate on the way in. And yes, you can hear the uh, beeping of a scorched officer somewhere in here. I'll uh, loot the coat off of him when we get close. I wanted to make sure that we could get rid of the beeping. Anyway, right here we've got uh, what looks to me like a little equipment shed. And head up here. And you can see they've got a little place for the staff to sit in here. Some shelves for equipment. In this case, there's a little bit of uh, aid right there. We'll head up this way. And they got this thing here called Roundup, which I assume is where they would have their little meetings and campfires and things like that. We can head up into the mess hall. And you've got uh, some of the tables that they would eat at. There's the kitchen back here where you can find one recipe right here. And you can also find a second recipe right over here. Uh, let's go upstairs. Here we go. You'll typically find at least two enemies up here. Uh, typically blood bugs are the enemies I found up here, but this time I did find a couple of rad rats up here. Uh, right here we've got the uh, Pioneer Book Forward. Pioneer Scouts of America Handbook 2075 Edition Forward. Survival, teamwork, research, discovery, and innovation. It's these five principles that the Pioneer Scouts were founded on that reflect the spirit of exploration during the founding, exploration, and expansion of the United States. More than anything else, we look to the example of two men, Thomas Jefferson and Meriwether Lewis. Together, they created a plan and a team to explore the vast, unknown continent where the fastest thing in the world was a horse. They faced this daunting challenge with courage, methodical planning, innovation, and a crew of seasoned veterans and natives. What took them two years, we can do in less than an hour now, but we are only able to do so because of the spirit of innovation embodied by these explorers. Step-by-step -step innovation overcoming challenge, we built this country together. You represent the next generation of men and women who will push ever upwards towards a future of boundless possibility. See you on the trail, Edmund King, Marshal of the Pioneer Scouts of America. All right. Now then we can head back downstairs and we'll go through the kitchen and we'll come out this side. And you can find a couple of cooking stations out here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, now you're going to want to avoid the steam vents <laughs> unless you got some radiation resistant stuff on or are taking some radiation kims because these things, well, I'll just show you. Yeah. <laughs> Those things are just uh, boiling up a bunch of radioactive gases. Okay. 
Where is this guy again? There he is. Okay. All right. Uh, now you've got right here the activity center. Some fox hides there. A little shelf covered in paint. You can come out here. we got a tinker's workbench right there. A couple of uh, workstations. You can find some wood scraps, some birdhouses, things like that. Things they were working on. Canoe right there. You can come back out this way and you get a nice view of this chunk, chunk of the camp. There's that, uh, that little equipment shed thing I was talking about earlier. The mess hall. And you can actually climb onto the roof of the mess hall using this fallen tree here. If you're looking to do that. Okay. Head back over this way. All right. Now right here, we have the Mountain Explorer, I guess. I don't know. I think that's just uh, a little motivational poster thing. This is also another one of their activity center buildings here. We can head up the hill. So there are some dead soldiers here. Um, I think that they were trying to use this tower maybe to scout the area. But yeah, they're clearly dead. I'm not sure what happened to them exactly. Two of these jeeps and multiple dead soldiers. Here's some of the dead feral ghouls that I had to kill when coming up here. Um, yeah, let's head up this tower. We're already here anyway. I was planning on saving this for a little bit later, but given that we're already here... <laughs> Okay, so we've got some propaganda posters there. Coming in here, we've got a map of the area. And right out here, we have a dead raider. And he's got a note. Bosley's note. You can find him across the lake on the roof of Grafton Steel at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Take out Mr. Henrik and your debt is paid. Now, interestingly enough, if you uh, head on over to Grafton Steel, you can find Mr. Henrik. And uh, he is dead, but these two... Bosley and Mr. Henrik managed to shoot each other. And I'll show you that little bit right here. As you can see, Mr. Henrik even has his own note. Mr. Bosley will be in the watchtower across the lake at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Don't say I never did anything for you. You gotta wonder who these two were and who set them up against each other. Okay, so... Oh, jeez. <laughs> didn't need to do that. You can survey the area. I've already done that with this character. Not only that, I'd already actually found all the locations in the area, so there was nothing to add to the map. But just like any other watchtower, this location can add uh, locations to your map with that scouting feature. Okay. And let's head down this hill and over to the archery range. So the archery range over here is actually uh, something that is related to the tadpole achievement. I think. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while since I've done the scouting stuff. Uh, but if you come right over here, you can see that they were shooting, and they were actually shooting corpses on these uh, targets as well. But we've got a plan here for a crossbow, and right up here there is a plan for a water filter as well. Uh, I think those use the uh, the bark of the uh, bleached dogwoods around here. Anyway, uh, yeah, you can activate this thing in order to start the archery test. That pushes you towards having your tadpole badge for that stuff, so you can get the backpack and everything like that. Anyway, we can head back this way. Over this little chasm right here. Okay. And you know what? Actually, let's go down here because this is the last part of this area of the camp. There is a uh, little path right here. It just leads up to the back side of the archery range. I'll just show you this real quick. Like I said, just to the back side of the archery range. Let's head back down. Okay, so we've got a shower here. And this thing was filled with, uh, I can't even remember what exactly, mole rats, I think. Uh, for some reason, there's toilet paper in here. And I don't know why, because there are no toilets. But anyway, I'll head back out here. And uh, we're now down to the lower part of this place. There's also the, set, the section of cabins up there. We'll check that out as well. But we're going to take a look down here at these docks. So, it looks like some of the boats have sunk. There was a wave runner there. More little motorboats and rowboats. You can see that they were swimming out here, but I would not have recommended that. Of course, I don't think the water was this orange back in the day. Yeah, there is water coming out of those pipes from Grafton Steel, but I don't think that uh, that's the cause of this lake being the color that it is. I think that's the cause of the, the, uh, the space station. Anyway. Jump right over here, and here's that boathouse. See, boating and swimming, and again, it's completely flooded. Okay, more canoes. Okay, and we got the vending machines here for the possum and tadpoles. 
over here we've got, let's see, Ooh, sounds like I missed a mole rat in there, or a rad rat maybe. We got this right here, this is an expedition leader's cabin. So they've got their own bed, their own locker, desk, couch. Let's uh, head down here into cabin B01. All right, with the rad rats dealt with, you can come in here. And all of the bunks are for some reason in the middle of the room. There's a whole bunch of uh, clutter boxes, uh, boxes full of files, but there's really not too much to see in this place other than that. Let's head back out this way and we can check out cabin B02. We got these lockers, and again more beds, but again the, fl the floor of this place is flooded. Okay, heading back out here. We got more of this area where they could uh, sit out here on this dock. They were fishing out here. Let's head back over this way though. Alright, cooking station there. And let's head up this way. Now, uh, yeah, let's get to the top of this climbing tower. Luckily this one is way easier to get to the top of than the uh, New River Gorge Resort. Okay, here we go. Just right up this little bridge. And here we are. Oop. Now, there's nothing up here right now other than, you know, this little bit of junk and ammo. Uh, but you can potentially find a bobblehead up here. Okay. And now we'll head down this way. And right over here. We've got this little structure right here. With the Pioneer Book Fundraisers. Pioneer Scouts of America Handbook Fundraisers and Fundraising. Where possible, fundraisers and fundraising should involve the community in some way. Bake sales, running competitions, restoration and cleaning projects, innovation fairs, and intramural competitions can be used to interact with the community, forging a closer bond and a sense of commitment. Adult approval and supervising must be obtained for all fundraising activities. Non-intrusive. We want to bring the community to us, not pester them with baubles and goodies. We want to bring the community closer to the natural environment. Training. Use the skills you've learned to train members of the community. Most of you are trained in CPR. A great way to raise money is CPR and survival classes. Conduct. Scouts are not allowed to sell pharmaceuticals, surplus commercial products, protection services, <laughs> or to engage in criminal activity of any kind. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> I will have to say that these uh, Pioneer Scouts seem to be one of the more wholesome organizations of the Fallout universe. It's basically the Pioneer Scouts and uh, Garahan Mining. Those are the two organizations that we found that were completely corrupt. Okay. Coming up this way, there's uh, Scout Leader Jaggy right there. I mentioned him earlier, the Mr. Handy. Uh, but we can head over into these cabins. Pioneer we got... derives from the French word pionnier, which means foot soldier. He spouts off little bits of uh, trivia. We can come in here into cabin A01. There are feral ghouls in this area, so watch out for that. Got uh, some bunk beds with some foot lockers. Okay, and uh, there's a first aid kit there as well. You can come around here and Uncle go into cabin. Sam wants you to join the Pioneer Scouts. We can go into cabin A02. Okay, more bunk beds, more foot lockers. All right, and we can now come out here. Another cooking station. Right over here, we have the, another one of those expedition leader cabins, and in this case, we got another desk. I do miss seeing horses. Such noble creatures. Yep. Uh, I wish there were horses in the Fallout universe, honestly. I feel like they, it would be awesome. If they could make a Fallout game similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, where you're just riding across the landscape. Anyway, uh, we've got uh, safe right here. Some ammo. We can come back An out here. area or ridge of land that separates water flowing to different rivers, basins, or seas is called a watershed. He's just full of useful information. We can come up here into the Pioneer Scouts and Knowledge Exams building. And uh, you can see that they've got some more of these lockers around here. A desk with an old broken computer and a petrified corpse. But over here are the terminals where you can take the Pioneer Scouts exams. Uh, this is how you can get your badges. Um, uh, basically, with some of that stuff, uh, it's actually interesting because it does require you to have some knowledge about these things. Uh, anyway, you can... <laughs> in order to pass a couple of them, I had to use uh, some online guides. There's the Mark Sparrow, the Field Sparrow, the Vesper Sparrow, the Box Sparrow, and many more. Yeah, again, like I said, full of information. We'll head back out this way. 
But I think that we've actually looked at everything that this place has to offer. I mean, we'll head out to one more location here. Oh yeah, another safe right there. I almost forgot to point that out. But if we come out this way, I will head on over to these islands. I would prefer really not to get in this water if I didn't have to. Okay, and then right over here, we got this boat that crashed on the island. Now, annoyingly, I've never been able to pick up any of these eggs. Yeah, so there you go. For some reason, every single one of those hatches a, ha a hatchling. So just keep that in mind. But I do think that that shows you everything that you need to see about the Pioneer Scout Camp. So let's take a quick look at all the junk that you can find here. All right. This has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.